but just in the process of doing this, which is called a taper, there are several things that you might not recognize. One is the placement of this hot piece on the face of the anvil. You're thinking it was just probably pretty much anywhere, but it specifically is on the outside corner for a reason. The reason is, when you're tapering, your hammer face is at an angle. That angle is better suited if the face of the anvil isn't in the way. If you're over here trying to angle, you're probably hitting the face of the anvil and not your stock. So that's the reason of that location. The other thing you probably noticed was my quarter turn. When tapering, you need to address two sides. And when you address two sides, you're actually addressing four because the impact is hitting uh, opposite sides. I know that makes sense. What I just did was called uh, in the course of a heat, and that's the amount of work you can get done before the heat is lost and you need to return it to the fire. Depending on how efficient you are in your blows, you can keep a heat longer. But there's, uh, there's an old saying that blacksmiths go to hell for two reasons only. And one is not charging enough for their work, and the other is banging on cold iron, or iron that's not hot enough. Dressing with the two opposing sides, that created 
uh, square or four edges. What I'm doing now is I'm hammering on the diamond or breaking the corner of it and returning it back to its cylindrical shape of round stock. This is a very, very basic uh, beginning technique that, that blacksmiths use all the time. Whether you're just beginning, just learning, or you've been blacksmithing forever. Tapering is one of the, one of the basic things that you need to know. constant change that the fire creates because you're consuming some coal you need to feed more in you don't want to have to have it burning up too much of a spot because it's you know a it's you're using up too much coal it's inefficient so once you figure out how to maintain and keep a fire then you can kind of forget about that process and concentrate on the iron work you know, it's like, it's like anything, when you're learning something new, there's so many things that you have to think about. And in blacksmithing, there's the fire, there's your, there's your posture, there's your stand with the anvil, there's how you're holding the hammer. There's all these things that might be, well, it is, it's very intimidating when you're first learning. But once these things become second nature, you can focus on the iron, and that's just one of those great steps um, when you do something for a long period of time. But in the middle of the interview, I started <laughs> smelling myself. I would suggest to people, always keep this handy. You never know, in the middle of an interview, you might start to smell. <laughs> Thank you. Now back to Harrison. to get stuff done because right now people hate each other there's not enough of this there's too much of this people hate each other and nothing will ever get done if you could if you could collaborate with any artist I, w I would like to try a collaboration with a glass artist or possibly wood as far as who I would like to collaborate with uh, there's a Russian woman who plays piano named Olga Kern and if I could ever do anything with her musically, it would be great. Also, if we could collaborate, I don't know, physically, and maybe produce children, that would be great for me also. How do you think we can make this world a better place? If we all had the opportunity to walk in each other's shoes just for a minute. I'd like to get a master's in piano performance and then hopefully a doctorate in keyboard literature so that I might be able to teach that at a conservatory. Keep going, I can keep do going, this. keep going, keep going. Hold it straight. Keep going. So this piece I made about 10 years ago. And earlier I was saying the assemblage, the, the beauty and challenge of an assemblage is that you work with the pieces that you find. So if you look in the junkyard on a pile, I found, okay. and the ball on top came from a brass bed that was in the junkyard and I just snagged the ball out of it. 
work that I do. Right now, I currently am focused on botanical elements. And so what you see here are pieces. They're not completed projects. Well, this one is. This candle holder with the grape leaves and vine and grape cluster, that is a completed piece. Uh, represents one panel of 16 panels that went onto a chandelier for the Omaha Botanical Gardens. Ten more seconds. Three, two. This book is called The Backyard Blacksmith, and it is traditional techniques for the modern smith. Tons of color photos and illustrations. People are not going to step outside their comfort zone, and that's where the problem is. Did you know that Charleston the Musical is that's exactly what the movie's about? Charleston the Musical? Yeah. Charleston, Illinois? Uh, yeah, Charleston the Musical, that article you read by that filmmaker, Tony Chauncey, he's making this movie, and it's about people stepping out of their comfort zone. I just thought I'd plug that, you know, because... Good plug. Okay, Good plug. all right. <laughs>